Welcome, Gary Laramie, to Ben Mini Ass. Happy Fourth of July, all you Top Guns and Number Ones. Uncle Gary says like this: Have a great time, but come back with all your fingers and your toes, and you'll come back with a win, baby. Here we go. It's been a long time. It's been too long. What's up? Here we go. We ready, man. It's 4th of July. God bless America. It's been too long. This is a recap show. We got to talk about Clay leaving the Bay. A little Giants. But we talking 49ers and Red Knight. Ayuk. Why he wants to stay. Let's go, Gary Lamb and Evan Mania. Happy 4th of July. Let's rock and roll, baby. Ladies and gentlemen, Domus y Caballeros. Sports fans throughout the multiverse, welcome to Gary Lamb. Main event mania, 4th of July. Live action, baby. Here we go. Break you off with game. It makes you sleep. Oh, yeah. It's been a minute, baby. It's your main man, Gary Lamb. I've been at my day job, changing lives. But that didn't mean I didn't miss you. That doesn't mean I ain't been keeping up with the wild world of Bay Area sports. But let's just, let's just address it all. One shot, one kill. We got to talk about Clay leaving the Bay. Buddy heel to the Warriors. Giants, wake me when it's over. And Brandon Ayuk, you can't say out of the news. Should I stay or should I go? But the main thing is, I want to be with you. It's been too long. I got to promote South Bay Championship Wrestling. Slammed heat. Santa Clara, California, at the SCS Portuguese Hall, next Saturday, July 13th. See you there at 4.30 p.m. I am your hype man. I am your color analysis campeon. I will see you there. If you want to meet me, be at South Bay Championship Wrestling. I will be there early. I will be there at intermission. I might try to interview you. You might be a star. I will bring the mic to you. If you want to get to know me, Gary Lamb, see me there July 13th, SCS Portuguese Hall, Santa Clara, California. See you there. But well, let's get down to business, man. Clay Thompson is leaving the Warriors for the Dallas Mavericks. Clay Thompson, man, you've been a heck of a Golden State Warrior. The narrative now, Clay Thompson went 0 for 10, 0 for 11, whatever it was. In his final game as a Warrior, without Clay, there would be no dynasty for the Warriors. Bottom line, and you know who's got Clay's back? God rest his soul, soul, Jerry West. The Warriors were going to trade Clay Thompson for Kevin Love. But Jerry West said, no, one of the greatest of all time in the game. One of the greatest of all time. When it comes to talent evaluation, he put Shaq and Kobe together. He put the Grizzlies on the map. And he gave the Warriors credibility that we never would have had if he was gone. Bottom line, Jerry West likes Clay Thompson. I like Clay Thompson. But he was a 3 and D guy. He was the man, a six foot seven guard. Who can guard a point guard? Bottom line, the Warriors are about protecting Steph Curry. 
Clay Thompson protected Steph Curry from having to guard guys he couldn't guard. I think Clay Thompson might be fine on the Mavericks. A six foot seven guard can shoot, play a little D, but he don't got the D anymore to protect Steph Curry. Pajemski. He looks to be our two guard. I don't know. Maybe it's gonna be Buddy Healed. I don't know. The bottom line, Clay wasn't good for the Warriors. But is anybody good for the Warriors? Are we toast as a team? Back to Clay. You're leaving the bay. I hope you get paid big time. I don't even know what your contract is, but I want to address. Great job, Clay. You're not a right fit anymore. And I wish you all the best. The Mavericks went to the NBA championship. I wish you well. But you're not a good fit for the Warriors anymore. Say love you, buddy. And that's my take on that. Clay Thompson, I'm not worried about the shoot. I'm not worried about the 0 for 10. Shooters go through slumps. Reggie Miller went through slumps. I'm not putting down Clay's offensive game. But what the Warriors need is a guard who can handle the best perimeter player, especially the smaller guys, and give Steph Curry a break. Clay Thompson isn't that guy anymore. Therefore, he's not a good fit. But do the Warriors know what the hell they're doing? I don't know. Buddy Heels to the Warriors. I like Buddy Heels. Good player. But until the Warriors get into 2024, until they realize the last two champions know how to play big. Until they get into the new generation, the Warriors are looking at Wemby and Chet Holmgren, younger players that are big seven foot plus, until you get those guys who can actually play. The Warriors are not a contender. They're just a pretender. They're a nostalgia team. They're worth watching every time Steph Curry steps on the court. He does something magical. But Joe Lacob hasn't shown he knows what the hell he's doing. He's playing too small. That's not going to get you where you need to be. That's not going to get you to glory. NBA teams, you can't be too old. You can't be too young. you got to be in your prime. Look how long it took for the Celtics to get to the glory. They were, they were around a long time. But it took Holiday and White in the backcourt. Good defensive players. And experience. Lakers got to glory. And size and defense to let your star players play. Tatum and Brown. Look back a year ago. Everyone knew the Nuggets were coming. Murray and Nicola. You get the role players around them. All in their prime championship. The Warriors are old. I would I would never count Steph Curry out. If Steph Curry is healthy, if he's got a lot of energy, he can take it all the way. But the Warriors are already small. Draymond Green, your power forward, you're small. He's not a great rebounder. They have no energy. They have no JaVale McGee. They have no Zaza to put some punch. There's no David West to scare people. They are soft. They got guys that play when they want to play. They're not a serious contender. And you don't have to get a great big man, but you need an energy big man. The word, small ball is great to finish a game, but you ba basketball is about size. You need big guys to win the championship. You need big guys to rebound. It is what it is. You can play small ball. You can outskill people, but it takes more energy. The worst are... They don't respect big guys. Okay, I love small ball. I'm a Don Nelson guy, baby. But there's a reason why he drafted Chris Webber. 
There's a reason why. He likes Sean Bradley. Dirk Nowitzki. Because basketball is a big man's game, man! There's a reason why we traded Monte Ellis for the big Aussie. There's a reason why we got Kevin Durant to be a seven foot tall, small forward. And we got players like JaVale McGee to play 10 minutes a half. Joe Lacob, man, I want to put you to uh, ADD status, but now that you've taken over, now that you've gotten in the way, you got to prove it to me, man. And I don't have a lot of faith, so until then, the Warriors are not a serious team to me. They're not serious, man. If you're serious and you want to make it last. All right. But I, I like Buddy Heald. The words will be entertaining and lose. Not a serious contender because for the long haul, to get through the long 82 game season in a high playoff seed, you got to rebound. You got you need some you need some rebounds where the guy just stand in there and gets the ball. All right? Cuz it takes too much energy every night. To be a Draymond Green who's small. Effort. Seth Curry, effort. Steph Curry, Steph Curry is why they need this uh, this uh, load management. Steph Curry, we won because of load management. You're playing him too much. What the hell happened to load management when you need it? We ain't gonna win. We need to. We need to load management for Steph Curry. Last championship we won. Steph Curry was hurt, and you like it or not, Jordan Poole was doing was fantastic in the early rounds of the playoffs and Steph Curry had a lot of energy he took us all the way home we are champions I'll never discount Steph Curry but until we respect that basketball is a big man game until we have an athletic big man to battle Wemby and uh and Chet Holmgren and and not to mention Nikola Jokic not to mention the Lakers we are not a serious contender as much as like Buddy Heald, unless I would never discount Steph Curry. Clay Thompson thinks what you've done. Warriors are not a contender. I don't even know if they're past the 10 seed. The Warriors are mid. They're not even bad enough to get a good draft pick. I don't see Kerr. Well, you know how to manage your ranch and Kerr and Draymond. That's what you're good at. The Warriors are in limbo. The Warriors are in limbo. They are a mid-team. They are a team that's going to get you close to the playoffs. Steph Curry's going to be fun to watch. But they don't got the guts to be the Spurs, to be bad a little bit and get Wemby. They are not They are not ready for Holmgren. They are not ready for OKC. They are a mid-team. Like I said, I'd never discount Steph Curry. But the last time he won the title... Steph Curry started out hurt. Jordan Poole got us through the early rounds of the playoffs. But Steph Curry was fresh throughout the playoffs. And that's why Klay Thompson needed to go because he cannot protect Steph Curry with his defense anymore. I'm tired of the narrative 0 for 10, 0 for 11 in his last playoff game. Klay Thompson's value was being a 6'7 guard that can guard the guys. You don't want Steph Curry to guard. You want Steph Curry to take you home. That was the magic of the Warriors. And after the love is gone, what used to be right is wrong, baby. After the love is gone, how could you leave me? Oh, oh, oh. Say la vie to the Warrior Dynasty. They're not a serious team. Not a serious team. As much like Buddy Heald. As much as I want to say that Joe Lacob is the next A.D. Bartolo. He's getting too involved. His son is the GM. Jerry West. Is gone to be with the Lord. Bob Myers is in Washington. And the Warriors are a mid-team in limbo. Too good to get too good to get a, a top draft pick. There, there, there's no Wembies for them. And unless Steph Curry can have a great run, which you're asking an older guy to have a great run, you're done. And see Kurt. 
his track record is I can manage the big names, I can manage the egos. Mostly that's a hard job. That that's a big deal to do. So many super teams don't make it. And Steve Kerr got it done. Great job, Steve. I love you, man. But the Warriors are in limbo. Their best player is older. And we're trying to get younger. He, he can't, like I said, evidence by Nuggets. It took him a while. You saw him coming since the bubble. It took him a while. You have to be in your prime to win. Celsius, the Celsius are coming for even longer. Tatum and Brown been good for a long time. You put the right team around them. Experience. Holiday. Don't underestimate that guy. That guy's a hell of a defender. Holiday and White. You got the right team around them. Basketball is about skills. Being in your prime at the right time. The Warriors are a mess. They're... That's it. They're not a contender. Sorry. Sorry. This was about Clay Thompson. Clay Thompson, good at luck on the Mavs. You're not going to help the Warriors win. I don't know if anything can help the Warriors win. But I wouldn't count Seth Curry. Alright, to the to the Giants. If you want to watch anything about the Giants, Elliot Ramos, good player, shouldn't be playing center field. Big guy, got power. The Giants find a way to be boring. They got no swag. They got no flash. They got no pizzazz. Certain cities, you got to win a certain game. When the Giants were good, we had Bruce Bochy. Yeah. The Giants went on magic, baby. Farhan Zaidi, this money ball don't work. We had Timmy Lincecum, the freak. We had the thong. We had the panda. We had a literal rodeo clown in Cody Ross. The Bay can't get behind this team. People don't know the real Bay. Baby. And it ain't like the Giants can't handle, like, mid-talent. Like, we had Melky Cabrera. We made the Milkman, and he was on steroids. The Giants, the, we need some magic to get behind. That's what it takes. We had Madison Bumgarner. Madison Bumgarner's mid but in Giants lore, he is like Paul Bunyan or John Henry. He is a tall tale. Guys, you get it done. And that ain't the vibe of this team. The Giants got to win on a vibe. They win on Roger Craig and Wilbur Thrill Clark. Boogie Bear. Fat, the Big Daddy Rick Ruck. The Giants win on vibe. The city wins on vibe, and we ain't vibing together as a whole town. And until then, we're going to be mid, we're going down. We got to trade Blake Snell. We got to trade all the big contracts. Because it ain't working. There is a false narrative that the San Francisco Giants fans won't support a young team, that won't support a rebuilding team. We will not support a bunch of boring jabronis! And that's what it is. Uh, Elliot Ramos, I want to see what you can do. Casey Schmidt, you're not playing well. I want to see what you can do. We need some flavor, baby! We need something that, you, that can unite the bay! Yay, yay! Because we ain't united. We're boring. We need to be reunited and it feels so good. We need something to believe in. We need something that can unite us all. We can be different and unite at the same time. That's what we need in the Bay. The Giants were that. Give me something to believe in. But it ain't that right now. All these numbers... It don't work here. Money ball don't work here. We got plenty of money. But we need love, man. We need something to unite us. And it we need something to bridge the divide. Cause that's how we won. 
You need people who are different, but can unite for the common good. And that's how we did it. Doing something past what your ability to do. Tim Lipscomb, you knew he wasn't going to last, but he inspired you. Same with the panda. Buster Posey. There's guys who are just different, but you can unite for one goal, for one love, baby. And that, it ain't the same vibe no more. That's what the Giants need to, to watch. And it's like, Gary Lamb main event mania is what you can watch on a budget, what you can spend your time on. Because we got things we got to do. And if you don't watch the Giants, I don't blame you. It is what it is. All right. A team who's never boring. I'm bringing it to you. It's the San Francisco 49ers. Always stealing the show. Always stealing the show. And you know what? It wasn't like that always. So, I'm not afraid to criticize Kyle Shanahan or the 49ers, Brandon Ayuk, or any of these guys. Because I love them. I love you guys. When you love somebody till the end of time. When you love somebody always on my mind. You're the reason in my life. You're the inspiration. Different 80s movie. It's a Top Gun movie. I don't want to think of Highway to the Danger Zone. I don't want to think of what's one? Take my breath away. All right. Brandon Ayuk talked about him a lot. They say he is far away on a deal. Money's money. Money's money, baby. But hear this advice from Uncle Gary. There's some people saying that Brandon Ayuk wants to leave. He don't want to leave. He wants respect. Respect, baby. He's 26. Still a damn fool. He don't want to go. He said he wants to stay. He said he wants to go. He wants attention. He wants to be loved. There are people who want to cancel me for this. Men are babies. We need to be loved. All right. And people say it's different from Debo. Do you, I want to be traded? No, I want you to love me, man. He'll he'll be a I. Right. With 26, Debo is alright with 26 million, whatever he's made. He's alright. Maybe he didn't get paid what he wanted. He's alright. Maybe the Niners overpaid Debo. He's alright. He's alright. It's alright. It's alright. We're all okay. We're all okay. And you look at Kyle Shanahan. You look at John Lynch. John Lynch. I'm in my suit. I went, that motherfucker's a killer. He's a shock. He's a shock. Chad York, rich kid, he's a shark. There's a reason why these players need agents. You can say Brandon Ayuk is going uh, about, this, about this the wrong way. He's losing maybe some collateral with the fans. But you can't put nobody, let nobody put you in a trick bag. He is worth the money. He thinks he's worth the money. He wants to put him on blast. Um, he's probably not helping his cause. But that, I guarantee you. Brand Ayuk says he's taking it personal. But John Lynch ain't taking it personal. Kyle Shanahan ain't taking it personal. Because they understand. And even if Kyle Shannon is taking it personal, John Lynch is a shark. He played. He looks happy. But, hmm. You don't want no guy to back down. You don't. If you want to win the damn Super Bowl, which I know they do. I've critic, 
criticize Kyle Shanahan, but he's a re he's a reason. He is the base of this team. Just like Andy Reid is the base of the Kansas City Chiefs, it took for Kelsey to get in his face. Like, Drake Greenlaw is out of the game. Get me the ball. And it, it was a bad look. It was a bad look. But it took for the... And the, even the Niners were handling Patrick Mahomes in both Super Bowls, you know, until, he, until they weren't, right? They did good enough. But it took... The coach is a foundation, but it takes for the players to get in. It's like, it, ta it, ta it takes something different in the big situations. Kelsey's like, bro, give me the buck. Green low is gone, man. Stop overthinking it. And that's what Cal does in the big moments. And none of the Niners are able. None of the Niners are able to do that. And that's why we ain't champs, bro. So that's why. Okay. I'm not tripping on Brandon Ayuk. It's a bad look because the Niners are like a damn mafia. They, they, man, they want no leaks. They want silence. But, you know, if you want to win the Super Bowl, it might take someone speaking out. And maybe Brandon Ayuk regrets. Not saying, get me the damn ball, Kyle. Men ain't good about expressing their feelings. That's why I'm a therapist, man. Ayuk probably regrets. Bruh, give me the ball. I'm open. If you would have got me the ball... I know he loves Brock Purdy. But Shanahan just so up here, you can't tell him. It's like talking to Big Brother or Daddy. He's trying to find... He's trying to find a way to speak his mind. He's trying to break out. He's trying to be his own damn man. And sometimes it's awkward when you got Big Fish, King Fish over you. When you got people who are trying to protect you. It's, it's hard to make your own way and find your own way. And it looks awkward. It's growing up. So it don't look good. But at the same time, I don't I don't I don't hate a man for trying to be who he needs to be. And you're right, Kyle should have got on the ball. You're right. But you don't want to say nothing at the time. But you see what how bad did Travis Kelsey look in the Super Bowl talking crap to Andy Reid? But you know what? If he didn't voice his opinion, Niners are champions. How you like that? My point is this. He don't want to leave the Bay. And the Niners don't want to let him go. He blocks. He fights for his offense. He's fighting Fred Warner in practice. You ready? He is the quintessential 49 receiver. He is the Kyle Shanahan receiver. The guy who blocks to get the rock. Efficiency. Personified. But he didn't have the guts. He didn't have the guts to tell Kyle at the right damn time, give me the damn ball. And that's what it's going to take. Everybody, we're going to the Super Bowl. We know Kyle's the man. But not one damn coach, not one damn player said, we got an interception. First play of the second, first series of second half. Keep running the damn ball. No one told him. Be yourself, Kyle. Forget all this empty backfield baloney, man. And that's how, I'm a psychologist. That's how Brandon Ayuk is acting out right now. It's a family, man. It ain't easy to talk to the people you love. Because... You need to get your space. You need to be your own man, but you want to keep him. So you run away. That's a run away from the problems. But don't do it. Do not run away. If Brandon has to settle for $28 million, he'll be okay. If the Niners got to pay him more than they want, they'll be okay. Just like Debo wanted to get traded. He's cool now. He'll be, you will be okay with $27 million or $24 million. He's going to be okay. He don't want to leave. He doesn't want to leave.
Don't make the mistake. Communicate your problems. Think, I, I guarantee you, once that contract is signed, everything's going to be just fine. Do not make this mistake. Please. Other people who wanted to leave the 49ers, Terrell Owens, he said he was hurt. He was a big damn crybaby, okay? Crybaby, messing with Jeff. Jeff Garcia would have, should have beat his ass. Steve Young said it like this. But wide well, receivers don't talk. Don't talk. If Steve Young, if if Steve Young never would have got hurt, T.O. never would have been the mess he was. He never would have left the Niners. T.O. saying, "I got Steve Young. He's a boss for a reason." Don't let the smooth taste fool you. He would have told him. See, Young said, like, if Tio would have did like that to me, brother, you're closer to the Gatorade than you are to the ball. Don't tell me nothing. See, Young said this. He said, you're closer to the cheerleader than you are to the ball. And Tio would have said, that's my quarterback. That's my quarterback, man. Some brothers are receivers are divas. They're emotional. They put the heart out there. Just let them be. Be the bigger man. The Niners gotta be the bigger man. They gonna be okay. Debo's okay. He's okay. He got paid. He's cool. Don't let emotions. It's okay to have emotions, but don't let them break up the family, baby. Don't do it. T.O. said he didn't want to go. He was heartbroken. It hurt him. It hurt him. He didn't want to leave the Niners. All right? Another person leave the Bay, maybe before your time. Charles Haley. He peed on Joe, George Seifert's car or his desk or whatever, right? He was all mad. He was all hurt. When he got traded, the Cowboys, he said it broke his heart. He wasn't ready. He was surprised. He was tantruming. This is why you need to communicate with words. His action, you now, peeing on someone's car or the desk is... But he loved George... George Seifert was the defensive coordinator. Charles Haley didn't want to go. And look at... It, it cost us a couple Super Bowls. Long time before we replaced Charles... We never replaced Charles Haley. Alright? He didn't want to go. He said he didn't want to go. Don't do... Don't make the mistake. Don't make a mistake. I've made this argument before. Same with Debo. They just need to feel loved and accepted. Sometimes the kids tantrum. You gotta learn how to handle it. Because they see you as such a boss. They act out. And you, Kyle Shannon has just got that way about him. Where it's just like, he ain't going to change his offense. He, the offense ain't going to change. Brandon Ayuk ain't going to get the ball more. It's because it's a running damn team. He said he ain't going to change it. Until the raw. He only changed it at the worst possible moment. When he should have keep running the ball, then he changes. Someone need to tell him run the damn ball. We would, if we just would have done the damn Kyle Shanahan offense, we'd be two time Super Bowl champions. No. Could have ran, could have ran Raheem Mostert to a title. The defense was good enough against Mahomes until it wasn't. Could have ran Christian McCaffrey to the title. Up 10 points. Interception. First place, second half. Was it was it one out of nine, ten plays? We ran up. What are you doing? Who the hell are we? Be yourself, Kyle. You stuck with your damn stick with your guns until the worst possible possible moment. Someone gotta tell him. No one told him. Someone gotta tell him. Were you too afraid, Brandon, to say get me the ball or to keep running? That's what this is about. It's about respect. It's more than the money. The money's big, but the, it's so big that once you you think you're gonna be happy with 23? Ah, come on, man. You'll be all right. You'll be all right. Another player, Chris Weber. 
be crybaby. Don Nelson's mean to rookies. Boo hoo hoo. Don Nelson was a perfect coach for Chris Weber, a big man that could run and dribble. That was a perfect coach for you, but he was on your case. You wouldn't be a damn fool. And now Chris Weber knows he was a damn fool. And he knew he was a damn fool. Now he'll tell you, I didn't really want to leave the Warriors. I was tantruming. I was tantruming. It's like a kid. I'm going to run away. And these guys are babies because they get babied. Because they're good. Don't let them go. Don't let them go. And my hope is that. John Lynch, who was a player, and he looks so smooth in his suit. He's a killer. He's a shark. He knows what's up. He knows what's up. He's a very understanding guy. All right. I, 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 Brandon Ayuk. I don't hate on you for put, for putting the Niners on blast. Don't let no one put you in a trick bag. Don't, don't don't let no one put you in a trick bag because that that. That's your weaponry, man. Let them know. Because if the Niners could, they would sign each and every player for as less as possible. And for a fan in the salary cap game, I'm cool with that. But you got to feed your family, man. And you don't think they understand? Understand. You don't want no one. You don't know what's soft playing football? They're going to respect the battle in the end. Because you ain't going to win. You ain't going to win the battle against Shanahan. And against Lynch because he know how to play it. John Lynch know how to play the game, baby. He's a killer, but he had a smiling face, baby. He like he like you. He likes you. Every day we like man, not you. They respect him. They do respect you. In the game of men, it's hard to say it, you know. And the mut, look it. The money is part of the respect, right? Don't don't make the mistake, Niners. Don't, it's only money, baby. It's only money. Don't let money break up the family because in the end, whatever the Niners pay, they'll be okay. Jed 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 York ain't gonna be in a homeless shelter. Okay, we'll be alright. And if Brandon Ayuk only gets twenty five million, he'd be okay. All right. So let's keep the family together, baby. Let's go. We be okay. And with that, happy 4th of July. God bless America. God bless the 49ers. Thank you for following me. Until then, keep it real. Keep it clean. God bless you. Keep your fingers on your toes. Do not blow them up on 4th of July because you don't want to go to the emergency on a holiday. Goodbye, friends. So long.